How's it going everyone? Mitch here with another Logic Pro 9 tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to be talking about the strip silence function inside of Logic. Fun stuff, fun stuff. We can use this to say if we have an audio file here, every audio file even though we meant for places to be silent are still a little bit noisy and that could just be because of the microphone that we're using could catch us our clothes rustling together um, us stepping, walking around, um, different things could happen and we meant that to be silent and not um, actual sound during those parts. So I'm going to be telling you or showing you how to split this one audio file into many smaller audio files and what this does is cut out that silent strip uh, so it actually is silent. So fun stuff, fun stuff. All right, this is the audio file that we have to work with. Okay, so as you can see, this is a guitar track. Uh, you can do this the same with vocals and whatever. Just make sure you know that. So what I'm going to be do, be doing, sorry, is selecting this audio track. Come up here to the audio drop-down menu, and then there is a. Uh, option called strip silence that we need to click on. Now when it first comes up what it is showing us is our audio that we have selected and then boxes around certain parts of that audio. These boxes are going to be turned into single audio files. So if before I get into the settings I'm going to press OK and show you what it's actually doing. See it's splitting it up the audio into smaller boxes or smaller audio files. So if I could do Command Z and get out of that audio strip silence, now I'm back. So what you're going to be mostly using inside of this is the threshold. The higher the threshold, the higher the audio is that is allowed through um, this filter. And uh, so the higher the audio, um, the less, or sorry, the higher the threshold, the higher the audio is loud through. So as you can see as I increase this the boxes get smaller, the boxes get smaller. Sometimes the boxes split into two and sometimes even a very large portion of the audio file is cut out. Now we do not want that. What we need to do is find a happy medium where a lot of our main parts or boxes um, encapsulate large portions of audio that you want to be heard and the silent parts you want to look and make sure that they are all being cut out accordingly and this looks good for this um, audio file that I have here now what we can also do is set the minimum time uh, to accept a silence so there aren't a ton of teeny little silences inside of our boxes so we can set that we can do attack and release time just in a compressor so we can also do that I find that these settings are almost fine the way they are when you open it up so all I usually do is affect the threshold and that is it so I'm gonna press OK and it looks great looks great a lot of little audio files so let's see what happens So sounds great, sounds great. Those parts that we meant to be silenced are actually silenced now. So everyone, hope you enjoyed this tutorial. This is Mitchell. And comment, rate, subscribe like usual. And I will be seeing you very soon. Peace out.